Today we are starting a new design challenge. For this design challenge, we're going to take a trip to a construction site in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. A construction company is building a pier that will be used to load oil into tanker ships. However, they have been experiencing electrical problems, and these electrical problems are bad enough that construction has been completely stopped due to concerns about worker safety and equipment reliability. In this case, we are consultants, and we have been hired and brought in to help this construction company solve their electrical problems so that the construction of the pier may be continued. We have to solve this problem as fast as possible because lost revenue is piling up, both relating to the construction of the pier itself, as well as the subsequent use of the pier for oil transportation. As we investigate the problem, we learn that construction workers have been experiencing moderate to intense electrical shocks from two cranes that are on the site. Here are pictures of the two cranes. One is a crawler crane on caterpillar tracks, and the other is a smaller truck-based crane. The shocks that the workers have been experiencing were strong enough to cause skin burns when the boom was touched with bare hands. The workers noticed that the intensity of these shocks was dependent on the orientation of the boom, the time of day, and atmospheric conditions. The shocks were stronger as the booms were extended as well. Aside from worker safety issues, at one point the pulley on top of one of the booms caught fire. The cables in the structure were damaged and had to be replaced. Also, the electronic systems of the truck-based crane became inoperative. As we start our consulting job for this construction company, this is all the information that we are given. Now we are charged with figuring out how to sufficiently address these problems so that construction can continue and the safety of the workers and the equipment can be ensured. So this is the design challenge for this part of the course. We want to design an effective solution for the electrical problems that the construction company is experiencing. And this solution that we come up with must guarantee worker safety, prevent any shocks to people, and also prevent any fires from occurring. Our solution must also protect the electronic systems on the cranes and certainly prevent them from failing. And we must solve these problems in a timely manner so that they can hopefully finish the construction project close to on time. Take a moment and think about how you would try to develop a solution for this design challenge. As an electrical engineering expert, since you're going to be graduating not that long from now, what would you want to investigate first? And what do you think your solution would involve?